hello and welcome to my youtube channel Chemvis. in this video we are going to discuss another important topic of quantum chemistry particle in a three-dimensional box in this we will first define the potential energy and wave function of a particle in a 3d box then solution of Schrodinger wave equation wave function and energy of a particle in a 3D box, degeneracy of levels, and degeneracy in a 3D cube. Let's discuss these points one by one. Consider a particle with mass m confined within a three-dimensional box having edges a, b, and c parallel to x y and z axis respectively the potential energy anywhere inside the box is zero while infinity at the ball and outside the box thus we can write potential energy v x y z is equal to zero when x is between zero to a y is between 0 to b and z is between 0 to c and v x y z is equal to infinite elsewhere the wave function associated with the particle is non-zero inside the box while zero at the wall and outside the box that is psi x y z is non-zero when x is between 0 to a y is between 0 to b and z is between 0 to c and it is equal to zero elsewhere solution of schrodinger wave equation for a particle in a 3d box for the sake of simplicity let's write psi x y z as psi Schrodinger wave equation for a particle moving in 3d can be written like as d square psi upon dx square plus d square psi upon dy square plus d square psi upon dz square plus 8 pi square m e minus v upon h square into psi is equal to 0 Label it as equation number 1. We have just seen that the potential energy V inside the box is 0. So, the Schrodinger wave equation for a particle moving in a 3D box will become d square psi upon dx square d square psi upon dy square plus d square psi upon dz square plus 8 pi square m e minus 0 upon h square into psi is equal to 0 or we can write d square psi upon dx square plus d square psi upon dy square plus d square psi upon dz square plus 8 pi square m e upon h square into psi is equal to 0 suppose 8 pi square m e upon h square is equal to k square then the equation will become d square psi upon dx square plus d square psi upon dy square plus d square psi upon dz square plus k square into psi is equal to 0 label it as equation number 2 the equation 2 has three variables because of that it is difficult to solve directly therefore it is better to separate the variables to do so assume that the wave function psi x y z is the product of three individual wave functions psi x psi y and psi z for the sake of simplicity if we represent psi x, psi y and psi z by capital letters x, y and z then we can write 
psi is equal to x into y into z equation number three differentiating equation three partially in different cases will give d square psi upon dx square is equal to yz into d square x upon dx square d square psi dy square is equal to xc into d square y upon dy square and d square psi upon dz square is equal to xy into d square c upon dz square putting these values in equation number 2 will give yz into d square x upon dx square plus xz into d square y upon dy square plus xy into d square z upon dz square plus k square xyz is equal to 0. Dividing both the sides of this equation by xyz will give 1 upon x into d square x upon dx square plus 1 upon y into dy d square y upon dy square plus 1 upon z d square z upon dz square plus k square is equal to 0. Equation number 4. Fragmenting k square along 3 axes x, y and z will give k square is equal to kx square plus ky square plus kz square. Putting the value of k square in equation number 4 will give 1 upon x into d square x upon dx square plus 1 upon y d square upon y d square y upon dy square plus 1 upon z into d square z upon dz square plus kx square plus ky square plus kz square is equal to 0. Equation number 5. This equation can be separated into three equations with one variable in each like as 1 upon x into d square x upon dx square plus kx square is equal to 0. Equation number 6. 1 upon y into d square y upon dy square plus ky square is equal to 0. Equation number 7. And 1 upon z into d square z upon dz square plus kz square is equal to 0. Equation number 8. Equation 6, 7 and 8 are simple one dimensional equations whose solutions can be obtained just like in the case of particle in a one dimensional box. The solution of equation 6 will give x dependent wave function and the energy along x axis that is xn is equal to root 2 upon a into sin nx pi x upon a and energy enx is equal to nx square h square upon 8 ma square. Similarly, solution of 7 will give yn is equal to root 2 upon b into sin ny pi y upon b and E n y is equal to n -squ n y square h square upon 8 m b square. And solution of equation number 8 will give z n is equal to root 2 upon c into sin n z pi z upon c. And the energy E n z is equal to n z square h square upon 8 m c square. Since the total wave function is the product of these three wave functions x, y and z. So putting the values of x, y and z will give total wave function is equal to root 2 upon a sin nx pi x upon a into root 2 upon b sin ny pi y upon b into root 2 upon c sin nz pi z upon c or total wave function is equal to root 
8 upon ABC into sin nx pi x upon A into sin ny pi upon B into sin nz pi z upon C. The total energy will be equal to ENX plus ENY plus ENZ. Putting the values of ENX, ENY and ENZ will give total energy is equal to NX square H square upon 8MA square plus NY square H square upon 8MB square plus NZ square H square upon 8MC square. Taking H square upon 8M common will give Total energy is equal to H square upon 8M into NX square upon A square plus NY square upon B square plus NZ square upon C square. For a cube, A is equal to B is equal to C. So the total energy for a particle moving in a cubical box will be H square upon 8M A square into NX square plus NY square plus NZ square. Degeneracy of an energy level An energy level with more than one wave functions is called degenerate energy level. An energy level with n number of wave functions is said to have n-fold degeneracy. An energy level with only one wave function is called non-degenerate level. Now, let's discuss the degeneracy in a 3D cube. We have just discussed that the energy of a particle moving in 3D cube is equal to H square upon 8MA square into NX square plus NY square plus NZ square, where NX, NY and NZ are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. In the ground state, NX is equal to NY is equal to NZ is equal to 1. So the ground state energy represented by E11 is equal to H square upon 8MA square into 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square is equal to 3H square upon 8MA square. In the ground state, there is only one possible wave function, psi11. So the degeneracy of the ground state is 1, that is, the ground state is non-degenerate. In the first excited state, out of three quantum numbers, nx, ny and nz, the value of 1 is 2, while the value of remaining 2 is 1. There are three possible combinations of quantum numbers, 211, 121 and 112. The energy of all the three combinations, e, 211, E121 and E112 will be the same equal to H square upon 8MA square into 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square is equal to 6H square upon 8MA square. There are three wave functions corresponding to these three combinations psi211, psi121 and psi 112. Since there are three different wave functions in the first excited state, so the degeneracy of this level is 3. In other words, we can say that the first excited state is threefold degenerate or triply degenerate. Similarly, we can find degeneracy of any energy state for a particle moving in a 3D cube. Now, let's make a table depicting degeneracy of different energy levels for a particle in a 3D cube. For that, let's have a blank table consisting of four columns and seven rows. The first column from the left is for nx square plus ny square and nz square. Second, for combination of nx, ny and nz. Third, for the total energy and fourth, 
for the degeneracy. We have already seen that the values of nx square plus ny square and nz square for the ground state is 3. There is only one combination of nx, ny and nz which is 1, 1 and 1. Total energy is 3h square upon 8ma square and degeneracy is 1. We have also seen for the first excited state that the value of nx square plus ny square and nz square is 6. There are three combinations of nx, ny and nz 211, 121 and 112. Total energy 6 h square upon 8 ma square and degeneracy is 3. For the second excited state the value of nx square plus ny square plus nz square is 9. There are three combinations of nx, ny and nz. 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2 and 2, 1, 2. Total energy 9 h square upon 8 m a square and degeneracy is 3. For the third excited state, the value of nx square plus ny square plus nz square is 11. There are three combinations of nx, ny and nz, 311, 131 and 113. Total energy 11 h square upon 8 m a square and degeneracy is 3. For the fourth excited state, the value of nx square plus ny square plus nz square is 12. There is only one combination of nx, ny and nz which is 222. Two, two. Total energy 12 h square upon 8 m a square and degeneracy is 1. For the fifth excited state, the value of nx square plus ny square plus nz square is 14. There are six combinations of nx, ny and nz. 1 to 1, sorry, 1 to 3, 1 3 2, 2 1 3, 2 3 1, 3 1 2, 3 2 1. Total energy 14 h square upon 8 m a square and t generacy h 6. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.